Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm at Martin Muir Wetland Centre here in Ormskirk in Lancashire. Um, reason I'm here, I haven't been here for about four or five months and also I'm a little stuck on places to go at the moment. Everything just seems really overgrown. Um, well, I wouldn't say overgrown, just, just in full, full growth, summer growth I would say. Uh, so yeah, the streams are very dark, so all the trees have full foliage on them. Um, so going down the rivers and streams at the moment is quite hard. Um, fields high with grass, um, so a lot of the birds and wildlife are very well hidden and enjoying their summer. So I've come here, I haven't been here for a while like I've said, and I'm just going to spend the day here walking around and seeing what birds and wildlife we come across. Um, so I'm hoping for a good day. Um, practice a bit of uh, bird tracking and high speed photography, photographing the birds on the waterways um, and anything else. So follow me as we spend the day at Martin Mere Wetland Centre. Okay guys, well I'm just about to head off into the first hide of the morning, the Ron Barker hide here at the far end of uh, Martin Mere Nature Reserve. So I'm going to make my way inside and hopefully get to see some wildlife. Now I've been here before, we've had kingfishers, buzzards, herons, kestrels, so no idea what we're going to see today, but let's go have a look. Okay, so I've been in here just a few minutes now. We've already had a kestrel hovering just in front of the hide. Quite some distance away, but nice to see. And a good start to the morning. Um, it's currently just perched on um, what looks like to be part of a dead old small tree um, in the middle of a field. So I'm hoping that uh, it'll come off there shortly and start hunting again and make its way over towards the hide. So let's wait and see. So I'm just going to go to this new hide now. We've got a new hide here called the Tomlinson Hide. Okay, so I've not been to this hide before um, and it's way at the back of the uh, Martin Mere Reserve. And one of the good things that I've noticed is that from the back here you just have literally flat grass lands, just as far as the eye can see. Um, so which is ideal for, I don't know, owls, marsh harriers, kestrels, um, all looking for prey. So it has a nice little screen at the back as well that you can sort of look over. Um, so if there are any uh, birds flying around, you can hide behind that and watch them. Well, that was a bit of a disappointment. Um, yeah, really struggling today. Really struggling today. 
Um, seen a kestrel, uh, photographed a butterfly, which was quite good actually, because it was upside down. So you could sort of see its tongue going in and taking uh, what I assume is maybe the nectar from the plant or whatever it takes. Um, but as far as wildlife go and that, it is absolutely slim pickings today. Is this going to be a video? Well, some days you win, some days you lose. And other days, it's just a bit of exercise. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway, it's only one o'clock, so I've got a few hours to go. So let's push on and see what else we can find. Okay, so I'm back at the Ron Barker hide now. Been all over the reserve this morning, been extremely quiet. Um, spoken to other photographers, um, they agree it's, it's very, very quiet here. Um, but as fortune has it, I've just had three visits from the Kingfisher and managed to capture some slow motion video of the Kingfisher diving in the water and catching a fish. So that was really good to get. Um, it is a little far away, um, so I opted to video it more than photograph it. Um, I think it's a bit more visual um, photograph, uh, videoing it than photographing it. Um, and then I had a little squirrel come up and have a drink out of the water. So that was a, a nice little shot as well. But I've just got to keep my eye out because it's been back three times in the last hour. Um, so I'm hoping it may make a, a so I'm hoping it may come back a couple more times. Um, not that we're greedy or anything, but you can never have enough, can you? And yeah, it's um, it's made the day worthwhile. Uh, I'll put it that way. It's it's been a very tough day um, and not a lot around but seeing the kingfisher makes it all worthwhile so let's just see what we get I've got two hours before I need to leave otherwise they're gonna lock the gate but for now I need to carry on Well, I've just come in to uh, wrap the video up, guys. Come for a little sit down here in this observatory. So what turned, what started with great anticipation and sort of remembering what it was like on my previous visit here earlier in the year, I was looking forward to coming here and photographing plenty of wildlife. Unfortunately, it turned out to be more like pulling teeth out and it was really hard work. Not hard work is a lot of walking around and that, although I have walked the entire place probably twice. Um, more to the fact that there's just, there's just isn't anything. You know, we've got some geese and ducks and the usual suspects, but there's just really, and there's very little of that as well. Um, so it's been really hard work today. Um, in saying that, seen the marsh harriers, seen buzzards, kingfishers, um, little egrets, herons. So we've seen, you know, a good amount of, of wildlife, um, but albeit on very, very far away. Um, been to a couple of new hides that they've got here. They're great to see. 
Um, but again, just nothing happening at them at all. Um, you know, and it's not through uh, lack of trying, but it ended on a high note with the kingfishers. Got a couple of video clips of the kingfisher diving in for fish. Managed to do that at slow motion as well. So quite happy with that. It's not brilliant, but it's nice to get um, and nice to see as well. Um, but no, hard day. Um, not a very long video. Not a great deal in it. But thanks for watching. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. I don't know when that will be. I'm thinking about just doing my videos every couple of weeks at the moment, just for the next month or two. Um, just because it's just so hard to find any wildlife. Everything is so overgrown at the moment. Um, and the, everything can easily hide in the trees and the reeds and grass. So it is proving to be quite difficult. Um, saying that, I've got plenty of places coming up in September, October, November. So looking forward to that. Um, but until next time, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.